Hey guys, this is Ruroni K95 here, and it is time for an anime update video, which we haven't done in a while since last time. So today we're going to be doing the 80s anime movies on here, because I have picked some 80s anime movies that were released in Japan that I have for my anime collection, which is right behind me, because that'll take the cake, though, when it comes to doing this video as well. Because even though I have been doing a lot of my previous anime update videos in the past, but this should cover it as well. So let's dive into what we have here. The first one I'm going to start off with, I have our, a couple editions of Akira that I have right here. I have the VHS of Akira from 1991. This is the old edition of Akira on VHS on here. Because it's the one that is presented in special limited edition full length video presentation in widescreen letterbox format. And it's dubbed in English by Streamline Pictures on this VHS, and the pr and it's reprinted in October 27th, 1992, because I'm pretty sure it's a reprint when I first got this on Amazon, from what I understand as well. Yeah, and it's an ink label as well. And I have another edition of Akira. This is the 25th anniversary edition from on DVD and Blu-ray combo from Funimation on here. This has two different English dubs on there. This has the original English dub of Akira from 1988 from Streamline Pictures on there. And this has the remastered English dub from Jinion Entertainment on there. And this has the remastered Japanese dub on there. Because this is the first, and this runs about an, an hour and 24 minutes. Yes, this is basically the powerful anime movie on there. And yeah, it's based on the manga by. Katsuhiro Otomo on there because you can't go wrong with this as well because this is a great anime movie that I loved let's see what we have the, the next one I have is Arcadia of my youth I got this for Christmas back in 2019 as well yes this is the one that is dubbed in English by no, no, dubbed in Japanese with English subtitles on there. Because this is a 2003 Animago release on there. Yes, this has the liner notes on there. It's just it's just all in songs with translations of the original Japanese on there. As Romaji lyric translation. If you ever want to read the, the, the lyrics in Japanese as well. But that's just how it is as well. Yes, this is a 2003. This is a 2003 Animago release on DVD. I have right here because apparently this did got a Blu-ray release by Discotech Media, which has the English dub on here. And yes, this anime movie is the retelling version of the Space Pirate Captain Harlock anime television series, from what I heard as well. This is directed by Katsumata Tomoharu. The original story was done by manga creator manga creator Leiji Matsumoto who worked on Galaxy Express 39 and Space Battleship Yamato as well. Yeah, this is part of the Leiji verse the the, you know, the world of the works of Leiji Matsumoto on there. I like this anime movie because it just helps that I've seen the original Space Pirate Captain Harlock series from what I know as well. The next one I have is a couple editions of Dragon Ball Z Dead Zone the movie. The one I have is I got from a yard sale, which is only a dollar because somebody made it onto like the the print, the full color copy from a library on the printing thing, and it's on a DVD R disc, but it's ripped from the actual Funimation DVD release of Dragon Ball Z Dead Zone the movie on DVD when I first got these at a yard sale because this is only like a dollar as well. And good thing, pretty, but even oh yeah, it did has. But even though this does have the Japanese language track on there, from what I remember as well, and this has the director's commentary on there as well, from what I remember. Yes, I got another edition of Dragon Ball Z Dead Zone the movie on Blu-ray because it's only a dollar when I first got this as well, because this comes with a reversible cover on there, which I was going to show you see Shenron on there on this sun as well 
but it does not have the original Japanese language track on there from what I but that's just how it is as well but this does have the English voice track with the original Japanese music on this blu-ray I have right here because it's only like a dollar when I got it at a flea market as well the next one I have is Fist of the North Star the movie on DVD because it's also available on blu-ray from discotheque media on there I got this on Amazon back in 2016 as well. This has the image gallery trailers and character profiles on there. And yes, this does have the English dub from Streamline Pictures on there. But this does have the original Japanese language ver dub with English subtitles on there. Yeah, this is basically the retelling version of the original Fist of the North Star TV series on there. I mean, this movie also helps have seen the show, even though I have the complete series of them on DVD. It's also available from Discotech Media. The next one I have is Harmageddon, also known as Genma Tyson. This is directed by Rintaro, but the character designs in Harmageddon was designed by Katsuhiro Otomo, who is the creator of Akira on there. Yes, this has the director's commentary by Rintaro on there. This has the production team biographies, and this has the Harmageddon in anime history, and this has the trailer to Harmageddon on there as well. Because, I mean, if you like Akira, I highly recommend you Harmageddon, because this anime movie predates Akira on there. Because I'm pretty sure Discotech Media might get a Blu-ray release of Harmageddon. And the next one I have is Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind. This is a classic movie from Hayao Miyazaki. This has the, the complete storyboards and get an insider's look at the film's artistry. This has the original Japanese trailers and the birth of Studio Ghibli featurette on there. This has both English and Japanese language audio tracks on there. Yeah, because I got this for like a dollar at a library book sale, because this is the two-disc edition, collector's edition on DVD I have here. This is only like one dollar at a library book sale, because it's cheap. It's also available on Blu-ray as well. The next one I have is Odin Photon Space Sailor Starlight, because this is my favorite anime movie, my favorite 80s sci-fi anime movie, because it's like a reminiscent to Space Battleship Yamato on there. This has both versions. This one has the English dub version, and this one has the extended Japanese dub version with the English subtitles on there, because this is a 1999 Central Park Media release I have on DVD. I mean, this is another title that Discotech Media might get their hands on this to get the license for a Blu-ray release on there. Yeah, let's see if Discotech Media might license Odin, Photon, Sailor, Starlight. The next one I have is The Dagger of Kamui. This is actually my favorite class. This is a classic samurai epic anime movie. Yeah, this is has character bios and on-screen maps and the original trailer for the da the Dagger of Kamui. Yeah. Cuz this one is basically a 2003 anime go release I have on DVD on here. Because this is a cl a great anime movie from the 80s. I mean, it's I really enjoyed this because this is, takes place in the Meiji Restoration on here. Because I got this last year, on, I got this on Right Stuff Online last year as well. In case you're wondering as well. The next one I have is a couple of the Yurisei Yatsura movies that are directed by Mamoru Oshii. I have Yurisei Yatsura Only You on VHS. This is the first Yurisei Yatsura movie directed by Mamoru Oshii, released back in 1983 on there which is around the same time as the Yurisei Yatsura TV series was airing at the time as well. In case I'm, I remembered as well. Just so you know. In case you're wondering, though, this VHS I have right here, this comes with the liner notes on there, which includes an ad for a preview for a bubble gum, the Bubblegum Crisis OVA on there, from what I remembered as well. Pretty soon, this... Discotech Media might get a release for the Yurisei Yatsura Only You on Blu-ray, which is in, in the summer of this year as well, probably in August from what I heard as well, because I got the, finally got the word that 
Discotech Media is going to release this in the summer of August 2019, from what I heard as well. Yep, because that's how... That's just how it is as well, just so you all know, just to give a word on that. And the next one I have is a couple editions of Yurisei Yatsura Beautiful Dreamer on here, right here. I have Yurisei Yatsura Beautiful Dreamer on VHS from Central Park Media's li License to Anime is um, U.S. Manga Corp. instead of Animego, because Animego does... A great job with the translation and the subtitles on there. But Central Park Media is only released the only Yurisei Yatsura movie. I mean, this is considered to be the best of out of... This is considered to be my favorite Yurisei Yatsura movies out of all the Yurisei Yatsura movies. Along with Yurisei Yatsura The Final Chapter. Because this is directed by Mamoru Oshii until he quits the production on the Yurisei Yatsura production, until he works on Angel's Egg, several Pat Labor movies, Jinro, The Wolf Brigade, and Ghost in the Shell, after he directed 105 episodes of the Yurisei Yatsura anime television series as well. In case so you're wondering. And yet I have another edition of Yurisei Yatsura Beautiful Dreamer on Blu-ray, because it's released by Discotech Media, because I got this for like a... 25 bucks at FanimeCon, because this comes in a slip cover like this. And this also has the disc on here, because I'm pretty sure Discotech Media might release the Yurisei Yatsura TV series on Blu-ray, along with the OVA, complete OVA series on Blu-ray. Here's the reversible cover, which I have here, in case I was going to show you as well. Because this is basically, if you haven't seen this, I recommend, highly recommend you to get this on either DVD or Blu-ray if it's available online. Or or you could watch it on for free on either Tubi TV or Crunchyroll for free on there as well. Yeah, the Blu-ray I have of Yurisei Yatsura Beautiful Dreamer from Discotech Media has the director's commentary by Momoru Oshii, liner notes, and the trailers on there. This has both English and the Japanese language audio options on there. And the last one I have for this anime update I have is the, the original old edition of Vampire Hunter D on VHS by Orion Home Video. This has the old English dub by Streamline Pictures. It, it did got a Blu-ray release from Sentai Filmworks, which has the new English dub on there, but it does not have the, the old English dub from Streamline Pictures on there. But the DVD release of Vampire Hunter D from Urban Vision Entertainment has the English dub from Streamline Pictures on there as well. Even though I have ordered Vampire Hunter D on Blu-ray from Sentai Filmworks. This is the definitive edition I have on VHS. Because I got this on Amazon back in 2015 from what I heard. I mean, it's been a while since I've seen this on, on Encore Action back in 2005. And this was actually my first 80s anime movie that I've watched as well. From, from what I remembered as well. So that's going to be it for my anime update on 80s anime movies for today, you guys. Thank you for watching, but before we go, here's what I'm going to say for this one. Because even though I have been doing a lot a lot of my previous anime update videos in the past, but I figured I wanted to do like an anime update on some 80s anime movies on here, because that'll definitely take the cake when it comes to doing a anime update video from what I understand as well. But that's just how it is. Hope to subscribe for content. My anime plot link in the description down below. You can share this video on your Twitter and Facebook if you have a Twitter and Facebook account on all social media. Smack the like button if you enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave in the comments in the comment section below in this video if you like as well. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, Ruroni K95. If you're feel free to if you're new to my channel, feel free to join. Smack the notifications bell button. Be sure to get notified as well. And keep it otaku for this anime update because this is a new one. Because that didn't take very long, because this is Ruroni K95 saying thank you for watching my video, and I'm glad you liked it, and I hope you enjoy it. Hope to see you soon for the next video, and hope you have a great day. This is Ruroni K95 signing off, and thank you for watching my video, and I will see you soon for more videos.